The new version of Editee makes editing websites on Google Drive even easier. Once Editee is installed, you can create a new website right from the Create menu. Select one of the provided examples as a starting point. The new version of Editee allows you to publish your own project to the gallery to promote your favorite framework. Once the copy is complete, you can open your workspace right away. In the workspace, you can edit the source code of all involved files side by side. You can adjust the size of the editors or the preview at any time. If you are working on smaller screens, the view menu allows you to hide certain panels to get more space for the remaining editors. The preview panel provides a live preview of your website, even if the site has not been published yet. It will show your latest changes, even if they've not yet been saved to Google Drive. The preview may be slow, but don't worry, your published website will be blazing fast. Editee helps you to include resources into your HTML source code. Click on the link button and select the resource that you want to include. Depending on the type of the selected resource, Editee will create the proper tag for linking images, style sheets or JavaScript code. Publishing your website will make your project folder public on the web. The website will now be served right from Google Drive. If you are using Google Apps, you will be able to map this website to a nice URL on your own domain. As the website is just a folder on Google Drive, all files will be automatically synced with your PC or Mac. Click on the workspace or right-click on the folder and select Open with Editee to get back to your workspace. You can open each file in a separate tab or window right from the workspace. This will give you access to advanced editing features and to the revision history. The revision history allows you to preview and restore each revision. Editing now supports multi-selection. You can hit Ctrl, Alt and Down or Up to add additional cursors at the line below or above. Hit Escape to get rid of the additional cursors. If you select a word, similar words get automatically highlighted. Add them to your selection by hitting Ctrl, Alt and Right or Left. This is a handy feature for renaming variables or styles. Holding down the Alt key allows you to select a block of text across multiple lines. This, for example, can help you to add or remove comments across multiple lines. Editee allows you to collaborate on source code in the same way as you know and love it from Google Docs. Editee even shows the mouse pointers, selections and multi-cursors of your co-workers in real time. The pointers, selections and cursors show up in the proper color that has been assigned to each co-worker. You can collaborate on single files, on workspaces or on a mixture of both. The integrated group chat will help you to stay in touch. The new Editee comes with snippets, auto-completion and Emmet support. This helps you to speed up coding dramatically. Let's create a list with three list items. Hit the tab key to expand your Emmet expression. This feature is not limited to HTML files. Editee can speed up your CSS coding too. Check out the shortcuts that get expanded to the different browser prefixes. This will save you a lot of time, especially in conjunction with multi-cursor editing. Editee also comes with a bunch of useful snippets for JavaScript. You can, for example, type for and hit the tab key to loop over an array.
Similar to Google Docs, you can add comments and replies to your source code. This is extremely helpful for code reviews, pair programming or your coding class. Comments and replies will show up on the right hand side of the editor. The comment will be highlighted whenever your cursor moves into the select text. Selecting a comment on the right will also highlight the text. This works just like in Google Docs. Click on the Comments button to get access to all comments in your document. You can reply, resolve or restore comments right from this Comments panel. That's it for now. Have fun and thanks for watching.